Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and a Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading, July 8th to July 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are to jump straight away to the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic for Pisces week, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Followed by the second card which stands for the challenges for Pisces, this is going to be the uh, King of Swords. <clears throat> Afterwards, the card stands for the positive aspect of Pisces, this is going to be the Devil. And then the last one, which represents the uh, guidance that Saru is offering to you Pisces, that will be the Two of Swords. So let's run the cards down once one more time before we scrutinize the reading. So the first one is going to be the Queen of Pentacles here, which is the topic, followed by the second one that is going to be the King of Swords, that is the challenges. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the Devil. And then the last one is going to be the guidance of the Two of Swords. All right, so... Uh, well, this week, uh, Pisces, you are to meet a, a person. I do believe that it is someone new that comes around, a person who is uh, very well, very confident and uh, very uh, pleased with their own personal standing and with their own personal achievements. Now, that person is the topic for you, and this is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. So what the Queen of Pentacles does for you is that it helps you to fulfill some needs and urges and expectations, if you will, as well, that are still lingering in you. So we're talking about um, unreached potential that you do have either career-wise or either relationship-wise, which this queen, that person here, helps you to first understand and second to um, not to overcome but as well to fulfill. <clears throat> so we do have a, a faithful companion here helping you, okay? Um, making you aware that you can be more into your career, making you aware that you can be happier into your relationship and as well helping you to uh, achieve that. The accompanied card here is going to be the, uh, the strength for, uh, formation. It is a, a passive neutrals that we do have. So the big reason why you may not be happy of your standing right now or that you do have undiscovered, unfound and unreached potential, it is because you're not speak of it. Just to give you an example, you can be exceptional asset into your company. You can be extraordinary worker with uh, amazing performance in there and still you can get just as much as and an average um, employee at that position. Why? It is because you didn't ask for a raise, okay? It's just you didn't. And uh, until you do not ask for it, the answer always is going to be no. So that could be, let's say, your um, 
your supervisor who tells you man you can you can really work for more so why don't you just go to your to the boss here and just you know ask him what is possible to to do so you can start getting better pay you know it could be that they are going to add more uh, responsibilities on you and if you don't have any problems doing it so then you can become better paid or promoted or etc etc so that's the whole point of uh, this uh, this week for you pisces that uh, you are to be um, you are to discover much more than the what, much more of yourself what you can be than what you are right now career or relationship wise with the help of the queen of uh, pentacles here which as well is going to help you to uh, to reach that uh, particular state. Uh, the, the challenges are going to be the, que the um, excuse me, the king of swords. So that is another person <clears throat> who is not very happy of your recent insight and uh, recent realization that you can, um, how can I say it? Uh, trampling and as well skyrocket into your development okay that could be the jealous co-worker that could be your supervisor uh, another supervisor from the one that approached you obviously if we're following the example who becomes afraid that you're going that they're going to be replaced by you all right or it could be a third party that tries to break your relationship but now sees that as you are taking uh, under consideration this undiscovered potential up until now and you're starting making something about it you know that you are consolidating your relationship stronger and stronger and they stop losing as they start losing that grasp that influence that they do have so that is a, a person here which will try the very that that will be the very last attempts of this person to maintain influence over you over your situation you know and to boss around meaning to have a, a leadership position over you over your marriage you know over your career and etc etc and you need to overcome this last attempt of them now you need to know that whatever measures they are to to, to take there these measures by default are going to be very uh, effective and these measures does not apply to rules so they can be sneaky they can be nefarious you know they can be surreptitious so you have to be prepared prepared for that as a matter of fact they are going to be as we do have the hierophant here and uh, this is in an active enemies car uh, combination so the king of swords will play by no rules whatsoever they will have no remorse no dignity in there and they will try uh, some mm, maneuvers to catch you off guard all right so be prepared literally for anything especially if this rival is known to you that jealous person who is always trying to to stop you of doing whatever in regards to uh, your career or in regards to your relationship as well this guy who wants to take your woman or this woman that wants to take your guy okay that could especially with if that's the case you have to be very uh, prepared to face some um, foolish statements like things that are simply not true rumors about you that could severely severely damage your relationship and they and i can say that they are untrue here by just having this combination on a negative aspect that doesn't make your partner for example not believing in them so we go to the positive aspect now and something positive for a change we do have the devil card and uh, with the devil card is going to come so natural for you to unfold this newfound potential of yourself either career or either relationship wise as a matter of fact with the devil card the more you are secure of that potential the more powerful you are going to become the more um, influence you're going to exert into either your career into either your relationship to a point where you are going to be the one who dictates the rules all right you're going to be the one who is going to force fortunate circumstances who is going to create a, a conditions who is going to create a events as well that will be according to your liking here the positive aspect points this week guys my friends you're gonna get what your soul needs what you what you yearn for you you yearn for love well you haven't found potential in regards to love and it crosses somebody all right but 
what of it? I mean, well, that person could either be in peace with it or they could simply go and cry in the, in the closet. You, you shouldn't care less for that, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it seems that whatever your urge and whatever, whatever your hunger really for, uh, for happiness or for career development lies, well, you're gonna get it throughout the week. The accompanied card is going to be the Six of Swords and uh, that just support my first statement saying that you ain't gonna even break a sweat for it. It's gonna be so natural, so easy to achieve and uh, the more you push into that direction, securing on this uh, newly found potential in yourself, the, more, the less you are gonna care how this impacts others, which it could be a bit dangerous because you can inflict and deliver quite of pain to some people that you may not want to deliver such pain. So uh, it will be uh, advisable here, you know, to just have these conversations with the people there to your heart, like family, you know, friends and so on and so forth, and share uh, your vision for the future, for your own future, just to see, you know, if they're gonna have any objection about it. And if they do, you know, what you can do in order to not, to minimize the damage you could do to them. So the last one is going to be in regards to the guidance here and we do have the Two of Swords. I would need a second card just so to determine what the Two of Swords is all about here as a guidance and the second one is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. We do have an, a, um, um, an active enemies, excuse me. So um, guidance wise, it's, uh, it's pretty much strengthens the reading from a standpoint is that uh, you never will be able to make everybody comfortable around yourself, all right? No matter how much you try to please everybody, there will be always someone who is displeased or it's not pleased enough. That is even worse, someone ungrateful. So these cards here are asking you, these couple of cards as a guidance are asking you to uh, just abandon that position of being in favor for everybody and, uh, you know, neglecting your personal needs in favor of anybody else. And look at the, your situations from a, a different point of view, from a different angle, where you are the most important thing there, right? And as soon as you accept that, you are not going to be remorseful about that someone tells you that they lost hope in you or, or whatever. It is because their, their hope comes for nothing when you are not going into a direction of drive and progress, right? So it's it's more like a stop. This reading is about more like a stop being, stop playing by the rules of others and this time around, focus on your own and discovered potential and do something about it. Of course, you're gonna have a resistance, just like I said, but with the devil card, you do have pretty much more than enough power to crush, not crush, annihilate that resistance. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for a July 8th to July uh, 14, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.